Hi and welcome. Now that you know exactly how the modifiers and especially the binary modifiers work, I want to show you a different way for something I've shown you um, quite a long time before. I mean my video about hard panned voices in a Blofeld. And I found a quite difficult solution, but just recently one of my viewers, um, C. Matsulo, found a way better solution. And in this video I want to compare both solutions. So um, in advance I want to thank Mr. Matsulo for this fantastic solution for the problem. What I wanted to do in um, this video back then was um, an imitation of the PPG behavior because in the PPG you can set all voices to be um, hard left or hard right. So when you play a melody you hear um, a very rough stereo sound. And of course the Blofeld cannot exactly uh, provide this behavior, but um, I choose to make it dependent from um, the key track. So I used the key track as the original value and changed the value with the modifiers and then applied it to the panorama. Let me show you my first solution with my simulator. As the key track, I'm using a triangle LFO. Don't be confused, I just want to have different uh, values to show you. So what I did was I took this key track and a constant number of 1 I took the binary end operator and the result was like this. Okay, let me check that. 0 or 2. And then I used all the other modifiers to um, raise the, the difference between these two possible values. So I used modifier 2 with the results of modifier 1 and added both to each other. And then I got this, of course. Then again with modifier 2. And then with modifier 3 as the source. So you had for every key value of the key track either 0 or 16. And then I applied this value in all the modulation slots of the modulation matrix a few times in order to get a very um, hard panning. But the strategy of my viewer Mr. Matsulo was way better. Let me show the second way how you can do this without any modulation slots I mean. Okay. Then we need again a constant value of 1 and again as I did it in my first try we get this variation of either 0 or 2 depending on which key track value you have. 
But here comes the difference. Now in the second modifier, you're taking the result of the first modifier with a different constant value. And the constant value which we are using is 31. And we are simply adding 31 to this value. Now we have this pink result. As the third step, we are taking the result of modifier 2 with another value, so our fourth source, again a, a constant value, but on this time of 32. And we are using the AND operator. And the result is this. As you can see, we have a larger difference between the zero value and the other values. And I want to show you, of course, the calculation here. So what you get from the first modifier, again, this is either 0 or 2. Then for the second modifier, what you get is simply a race of um, the possible values by 31. So you get either 31 or 33, I think. Then you're calculating a binary end. So you get either 0 or or 64 and then in the last modifier of course you're adding the results of modifier 3 to each other so that finally you get the maximum modulation And with this solution, you don't need to apply so many values to the modulation matrix. You have the modulation matrix available for other things which you want to do with your sound, of course. You can apply this directly to the panorama and the filter section. So thanks again to uh, my very smart viewer if you have other um, interesting ideas what you can do with modifiers, just write a comment and let me know. Share your thoughts and your ideas with the community. If you enjoyed this video, make a thumbs up. And then again, thanks for watching and have a nice day.